Physically based rendering is a method of shading and rendering that provides a more accurate representation of how light interacts with surfaces. Traditionally, due to hardware limitations, artists would have to approximate lighting conditions and shadow information by shading their diffuse textures, which are responsible for the color and the pattern of the object, since those couldn't be calculated in real time without seriously compromising performance. As you might have guessed, this would not work for every lighting scenario. Nowadays, instead of approximating lighting and shadows on the diffuse textures, the focus has shifted into physical-based approximations based on the standardized values and texture types. Unlike older workflows, the shading is generated by the actual shader using a combination of unique textures. In practice, this means that physically-based content should, when properly created, work in a predictable manner under almost any kind of lighting condition without user input. Unity's standard shaders incorporate an advanced lighting model called Physically Based Shading, PBS for short, which is part of the PBR workflow that allows for high-fidelity content. Depending on the pipeline, PBS is usually specific to shading concepts and PBR is specific to rendering and lightning. However, both terms describe, on a whole, the process of representing assets from a physically accurate standpoint. We won't go into technical details in this series, but we recommend checking the links below for the comprehensive Substance PBR guide. The benefits of this workflow are the ease at which artists may create consistent assets, since the methodology and algorithms are based on physically accurate formulas. The accurate look of the assets in all lighting conditions provides a workflow that allows for creating consistent and predictable artwork, even between different artists. Something that you can see for yourself on major online galleries by comparing work from different artists. Unity supports two types of workflows, metallic or specular. Both may be used to achieve similar results, and each has its respective pros and cons, but that's outside of the scope of this introductory video. For now, we'll be focusing on the metallic workflow since it's the most commonly used and the default type in Unity for being simpler and requiring less texture memory than a full specular workflow. In short, metallic specular highlight color is derived from the albedo, while specular lets you specify which color you want for the highlights in a specific RGB texture. It's recognized for its added artistic control, but more prone to errors and higher memory requirements. 